welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus today, chapter 21, verses 18 and 19. Let's read it. If men have a quarrel and one strikes the other with a stone or with his fist, and he does not die but remains in bed, if he gets up and walks around outside on his staff, then he who struck him shall go unpunished. He shall only pay for his loss of time and shall take care of him until he is completely healed. All right, so that's kind of an interesting piece, isn't it? If you get into a fight with somebody and they're able to get up, you know, and get back to work here pretty quick after a day or two, well, okay, you know, we'll all live, live, live onward. But if the person is so severely injured that he can't work, you've got to take care of the guy. Well, that's kind of a very interesting piece of uh, civilizational undergirding, isn't it? Yeah, civilizational undergirding, because, uh, you know, it's like, no, we don't want to have fights, random fights in the street and tragic tragedies. Uh, just there are so many tragedy cases today with people with no self-control. They're beating each other up. Some of them are dying. You just see it, you know, over on x.com on the social media. And it's just just become sickened by the cheapness with which people view life, that they would just kill and murder uh, no, if a life is taken, that should have the most extraordinary, strong reasons. And so here we see that God is uh, kind of building against some of that. Notice again what it said in verse 19 at the bottom, the very last phrase there, and he shall take care of him until he is completely healed, completely. So yeah, you think, well, um, well I'll take a day off. No, it might be that the guy, if he never, never recovers, if it takes six months, you've got to take care of them for six months. You know, this is an incentive not to get into fights. Here's another interesting piece. Today in our Western, supposedly so much more advanced, you know, system of law, law and order in Western society today, uh, you can be sued. You can be sued, you know, all kinds of different ways. You can be sued for different damages, punitive damages, civil damages, et cetera, et cetera. You, there's all kinds. You can be sued. Uh, I see that there was a law they're trying to put in. Uh, where is it? There's a law I was just reading about in Canada or the EU or Australia or somewhere. Uh, I think it was Canada. They're trying to put in a, a law that if you do what they are going to call hate crime, that um, you publish it online, they'll count each day as a separate offense. The fine could be up to a million dollars a day. So yeah, if you put something online on the internet and it's there for 365 days, you could be fined $365 million. So this is a, you know, basically another uh, pressing down, squeezing. This is using um, laws to reshape culture, to take away free speech. Anyway, my point here though, without veering off, is that um, it, here you have basically one thing, but uh, in Western law today, you could be sued all over the place and charges can be split into several different charges. So you could wind up with you know a 100 year sentence for something. So. Is our law today so much more superior to uh, some of these simpler and yet straightforward and, and yet incentivized laws that we find that God gave thousands of years ago? Uh, I, I think God's laws are in pretty good shape. Now, we, we need to talk about this one of these days. We're not really in a theocracy the way that Israel is where these laws are. We need to talk about that another time. But anyway, we're working our way through the text and we're not gonna miss anything. Let's just keep going and we'll see you tomorrow morning as we look at the next stuff here in Exodus 21.